In this episode, we continue training and mentoring the Manchester University WASP team. As you can see here, the team suited up on this day and did their safety checks to take on a very active, very busy German yellow jacket nest. This is Vespula germanica. Here in North America, it's an invasive species. It originally came from Eurasia, and this species is well known for living in structures here in North America. In this case, they were behind a stone facade right outside the garage and mailbox area of a private residence owned by an elderly couple who were really in danger due to this nest being so close to the areas they walked by every day. We'll show you how the team sets up their vacuum extraction gear so that these wasps could be collected for venom immunotherapy. In this case, the team is setting up what's called an attrition collection. We do this type of collection when the nest is inaccessible. For example, behind a stone facade, we can't very well break down the stone wall to get to the nest. And from the interior of the building, there was shelving units built into the wall and so forth, so we couldn't get to the nest itself from either side of the wall. In a situation like that, we simply collect the wasps that are coming out to forage. They come out, they look for food and resources to bring back to the nest, they bring those back into the nest, and we interrupt their flight path with the vacuum device, and we collect them all that way. And here you see, once the wasps are collected, we freeze them in dry ice in a flash freezing process that preserves their venom at the highest quality possible for venom immunotherapy or biomedical use. We'll show you all of these steps in detail during this episode, and we're also going to show you some close-up footage of how these vacuum extraction devices actually collect the wasps at the point of entry. As you see here, when we're doing an attrition collection, we're actually interrupting the food delivery to the nest. They go out and they forage for pest insect meat, and they bring that meat back as protein for their larvae, or the baby wasps that are still in the nest. What this process does is it collects the wasps and prevents them from bringing food back to the nest. As you see here, they try to come back, they get sucked right back into the collection device, and therefore they cannot deliver that protein and they cannot feed their larvae. Over time, after multiple visits to the property, this causes that nest to die out much quicker than it would naturally. And that's simply because we are starving the nest out. We're interrupting their ability to feed their young. We're also going to show you how we use glue traps occasionally to keep a wasp population under control in between the times that we can visit to do collections for venom immunotherapy. So in this case, this was an elderly couple that lived in this home. One of them was pretty physically compromised. It was not safe to have wasps flying around while we were not there. So in a situation like that, we can protect this couple by putting glue traps around the entry point. To view the complete episode, click on the link in the description. Thanks for watching.